I'm Terry Stubblefield, Associate Pastor at First United Methodist Church in Florence, Alabama. Our Sunday School lesson for Sunday morning is the resurrection of Jesus. Now, I'll be happy that you're seeing this right now, but look at this on Sunday and afterwards because we still haven't done Monday, Thursday, or Good Friday, or Holy Saturday. But our text for Sunday morning is Matthew 27, 57 through chapter 28, 15. And most of you probably have the King James Version or New International Version or New American Standard Version. But I would like for you, and I think you would enjoy it, to read this same account in all the Gospels, especially John, and then read it maybe in the Messenger or the Common English Version to get a good handle on what's happening. But we're talking about the resurrection of Jesus. It's what our Easter. And the key verse is in Matthew 28, verses 5 and 6. The angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here because he has risen from the dead, just as he said. Come and see the place where they laid him. Now think about Easter. We think about candy and Easter egg hunts and new clothes and good lunch, church worship services. It's Resurrection Day. And I told you last week how much I love Palm Sunday, the pageantry, the excitement. Jesus is coming to town. The King's coming. Resurrection Day is very different you have probably been to a sunrise service somewhere, which is really good because it's dark, it's quiet, it's still. Uh, I remember singing songs when I was a kid. We've sing that, low in the grave he lay. And then in the chorus, up from the grave he arose. So you go from darkness to celebration. And that's what happens on Easter Day, on Resurrection Day. I hope we can find excitement that comes out of Easter. Easter teaches us joy and hope. So listen to the passage for today. Matthew 27, starting in verse 57, and we'll go through chapter 28, verse 15. As evening approached, Jesus is on the cross, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, and in the book of John we find that he was accompanied by Nicodemus, who has himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it would be given to him. Joseph took the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of a rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene, the other Mary, were sitting there opposite the tomb. The next day, after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. They said, Sir, we remember why he was alive. He said, After three days I'll rise again. So give us the order that the tomb will be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people he's been raised from the dead. And this deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate said. Go make the tomb as secure as you know how. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posting a guard. Then chapter 28. After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and go into the tomb, rolled back the stone, and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning. His clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him, they shook and they became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He's risen, just like he said. Come and see the place where he lay and then go quickly and tell the disciples. He has risen from the dead, is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you'll see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell the disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. And then Jesus said, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. Now, several things stand out in this account. We hear the phrase, do not be afraid, several times in all the accounts. Now, all of us have had experiences that we think are un unique or unusual, never happened to anyone before, but that's not true. Every experience, joy, and sorrow has been experienced by someone in much the same way. Uh, Jesus himself, we're told in the Bible, has been tempted in every way like us. We see he experiences every sorrow like us. Uh, all of our joys and sorrows are not totally new. They're just variations on a theme that other people, even Jesus, have experienced. But today we have a truly unique story on which we build our faith. And that's God's miraculous act on Easter morning. 
resurrection means raising from the dead. Now, there's other instances in the Bible where people were raised from the dead, but they're not like this. This is a unique story. Jesus defeated death. He defeated Satan. He ascended to heaven with witnesses in all these accounts. And because of that resurrection, we claim our own hope of eternal life. Now, the power of God is seen as never before in the resurrection. Following the burial, we have a large stone placed on the tomb. The stone was sealed. A guard was placed. But then we find the tomb was opened by God. Uh, an angel was sent. The angel had the shiny face and the shiny clothes like we read about in other places. And the guards fainted in terror. The women came to see the tomb. They also witnessed God's power. They saw the terrified guards. They met the angel. The angel said, don't be afraid. He's not here. He's been raised by God. Now, in this account, we see fear and excitement. We see happiness and being terrified all at the same time. And we've experienced things like that, a close call, a brush with death, uh, a near wreck, um, the birth of a child, your baptism, uh, a letter or a phone call that gives you good or bad news. We have those experiences that, that go from terror to excitement, or maybe excitement and then to terror. Uh, but we read verse 8 captures that feeling. With great fear and excitement, they hurried away to tell the disciples. Now, when we receive good news, the first thing we want to do is tell somebody, tell anybody, send pictures. We want to grow the excitement and share the joy, and that's what we see here. But they were stopped for a moment. They're leaving the tomb, they're going to tell the disciples, and they're stopped by Jesus himself. They ran into the risen Christ. Again, they're terrified and they're overjoyed. Jesus said, don't be afraid. Go tell the disciples. Today we say, Christ is risen. That's what we say on Resurrection Day in our Easter service. We announce the good news, we share the excitement, and Easter should change us. Now we may have a new shirt or a new dress, but we should be transformed from living with uncertainty and sometimes in fear to living with excitement for eternal life with God that starts right now. So that's Easter. Thanks be to God for the risen Christ.